Okay, so this will be the last piece of the Who I Am module that we're going to put into our wiki PLM. Um, and I need to explain to you that I have removed one of the uh, creations because um, it's just not working. It's called Glogster. It is a digital poster board. Um, and I have tried to get Glogster to work on um, my Macintosh, which is very up to date. And I've tried getting it to work on a Windows 7 computer, which is up to date with all of its flash. And I've tried to get it to work on a Windows 8 computer, um, which I think is up to date with all of its flash. The point is, it will work for a while and then it crashes. Um, you can go back and start again and try to avoid what caused the crash. And then, bottom line is, it does not work. Uh, and I'm not going to torture you with an app that does not work. So, let's look at what we've got so far. And then we're going to do two more, which are extremely easy to use and fun. Right now, on my homepage of my wiki is my first module, the Who I Am. Um, I have a Voki that basically states my educational philosophy. And I have a GoAnime that tells a story. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to put a couple of uh, little widgets on your page that will keep track of how many people actually come and see this thing. And then the other one, I will readily admit, is just for fun. It's called a revolver globe, and it literally will show you where people have come and visited your wiki uh, from around the world. Uh, it's kind of cool, and it's easy. This is probably the easiest thing we have to do today. So let's review real fast. We now know that creating a wiki is as simple as setting it up, and then as we want to work in our pages, we're going to click on this button here that says Edit. This allows us then to play with the contents of our page. We have to realize, though, that we can't move things around the page like we do in, say, Word or PowerPoint. We can only use our return key, our enter keys, to move things up and down on the page. I'm going to go ahead and move it down quite a bit because, as you can see, underneath this last widget we put in, which was our GoAnimate story, you need to leave room for you to start writing your reflection about the three articles that go along with Module 1. Let's go back to the module and show you where those articles live. And as you can see, right here, article for Mar Module 1. Uh, there are just three, and they are short. And so if I click on them, it basically talks to me building your personal learning network. I can then go back, click on part two of that article. You notice they're all one-pagers. Very straightforward, very simple. Um, and then the last one is about growing your personal learning network. This one is five pages long, but I think this gives you a lot of information about designing your PLM um, and the tools to use. Because every one of these tools that's described here, we're going to end up using. And so what we're asking you to do in this first one is to read these three articles, synthesize it together in your mind and in your writing, and help me understand that you understand what the purpose of this PLN is and how you see it being used to uh, develop your profession you as a teacher. Um, as you can see, there's not a lot of writing to do here. It's two to four a paragraph with six to eight well-written sentences. 
So let's see, if I do that math real fast, um, if I did two paragraphs with six sentences, there's three sentences in each paragraph, I think you can handle this. If you enjoy writing, go for the four paragraphs, eight sentences, two for each one. Enjoy. Knock yourself out. Um, I don't want this to be onerous. I want you to respond and think about what the articles are saying in the context of why would I create a PLM? What purpose does it serve? All right, let's do the last two widgets that we're going to put on our page. And once again, I'm going to go back into here, into the module. I hope you've noticed, I really haven't dwelled on it very much, um, the section that says tools for who I am. Everything is in here to help you understand how to do what we have been working with. So if you need paper in your hand, or if you need more explanation, some people do, and that's fine. Um, it's all right here. Here's the create an avatar. This is where you can get directions on the Voki if you need them. Um, or feel free to steal and use them if you want to create Vokis in your classroom. Um, This is where GoAnimate lives, along with a whole bunch of other amazing <laughs> online tools that allow you to make um, videos uh, for your classroom. A lot of good stuff there. We love the Animoto. Love, love, love Animoto. But I think my favorite of all of them is, is GoAnimate. All right, and here we go. So now we're going to put a counter and a globe on our wiki. Now, at first you're like, what is he talking about? What, what does he mean? This is a way for you to see if you're actually getting anybody to come and see your wiki. So I'm going to start with the probably the easiest one. I'm going to go to free website counters. I'm not going to even worry about signing up or any of that stuff. I'm just going to go down here and I'm going to find me one I'd like to use. Um, I think this one looks kind of cool. So I'm going to click on it. It basically lets me decide colors, where its location might be. It even shows me over here where it would look on a page. So let's see if I click this. It shows me where it might look, where it might be. I'm going to go with bottom right. Nope, I'm going to go bottom left. As you can see, it's giving me all the information. Um, it lets me see and it's a hit counter, a visitor counter, public stance, stats, and private stats. Um, I want it to be a hit counter. In other words, I just want to know how many times somebody has come and visited me. And I'm going to say submit. Oh, I have to pick a category. My bad. The category of my site is, well, it's not listed here. I'm not going to worry about it. I'll just come down and pick one. Um, how about Internet? This really doesn't affect anything. Okay, now I'm going to submit query. And looky, looky, looky. Down here in the bottom of the page is that wonderful, magical stuff um, that I am going to put into my um, wiki. Now, what I would do is I would use the JavaScript code. Um, it works better on different browsers. And so I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to right click. I'm going to copy. You should now be saying to yourself, because you know what we do now, is I've moved my cursor to where I want it to be. I've turned the page on by clicking on Edit. I go to Widget under HTML. Right-click and paste. Save. I look down here. Oh, look, there's a little gray box. And now if I click on Save, all of my little gray boxes magically turn into what I want them to be. Looky there. I now have a counter on my page. 
and this will record every time a visitor comes to my page. All right, let's go back and get the revolver globe. Now this one, I just, I love this one to death. It's total fluff. Uh, it serves no other purpose except to show that your uh, wiki PLN, your PLN wiki, is out there and, and lives on the internet. And it's real and it's live. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. <clears throat> and <laughs> this is what it's going to look like. Now, that one's really cool because it's got all kinds of visitors from all over the world. But that's okay. Look how simple. So I can do a big one. I can do a medium. I can do a small. Let's go with medium. And I'm going to what? Highlight. I'm listening to you out there saying this under your breath. Right click, copy. Come back to my Wikispace page. Turn it on so I can work with it by hitting the edit button. Look where my cursor is. I want to put this one right above my other counter. Widget. Other HTML. Right click, paste, and save. I know I'm good because I've got a gray box. And I'll save again. Everything comes back on, including this crazy globe that is showing that the first hit that I've had is from, look at that, as it comes around, Louisville, Kentucky. <laughs> I know it's fluff, but it is cool fluff. Now, that was a medium. That's pretty big. So I might want to, if I don't like it, Oh, look, I can scale it down. I didn't know I could do that. That's really cool. So if I really wanted to get into it, I can't. I didn't know you could scale it. Oh, that is cool. That is really cool. Okay. So people can come onto my site and they can play with making it big, making it small. It's fine. All right. So now in the space underneath my Go Animate. I'm going to type in my response to the first module articles. Go back, fix that. And now all I'm going to do is just type. Um, I might want to highlight that first line of text there and bold it. And then off I go. You get the idea. So that's it, folks. This is what we would have done if we could have met on Monday the 8th. Um, again, let me stress to you that all these videos that I have created that will come to you in an email are also living in Module 1. So if you want to be in the module while you're working in all of this, so you can get to the links and the help pages, um, feel free. Uh, let's make sure we understand that I took out the Glogster because of all the problems we have with it. Um, and that for this first assignment, we are creating our Wikispace page. And on that Wikispace page, the first thing we create is our Who I Am. In other words, the name of the module. And each one of these will be done on a separate page in our wiki. 
And I'll leave you with that. Let me show you how easy it is to do. So this was our first module, Who I Am. Let's look what our second module is called. Who I Am Connected To. So that'll be where we learn to play with Twitter. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my wiki spaces. Um, and over here where it says Pages and Files, I'm going to click on the plus sign. And it says, what is the name of the page? Who I am connected to. Okay. And I'm going to create. Well, I'm not going to create it because it says TIO. There we go. Who I am connected to. Create. Now, remember the rule about the null set. You can't just create these pages and leave them empty. You have to put something here or else it will not save it. So I'm just going to go ahead. Who I am connected to. And I'll make sure that I capitalize the C. And I'll make sure that I capitalize the B. And then I'm going to highlight it. And I'll come into my uh, where I can play with the text, and I'll change the size of it. Might even change the font, and then I'll apply all that. So I'm ready to go now with my next page. I could go ahead and do this now for the the next two pages that we have to create. Just make sure you put something there, and then I'll save it. And when I look over here, what am I seeing? I get to see that I'm starting to build a table of contents in my wiki. It's so simple. Now, when we get around to putting all this into live text, it, it gets even simpler. Because in live text, it's going to say, uh, for module one, just copy, paste this URL, this address, into live text. That's all you have to do. Now your final, you'll go back and basically do a reflection upon this whole thing, but for the work that we'll be doing Tuesday through Thursday, this is all you have to show in the live text. Okay, so this was the class for Monday. Um, it was a series of um, one hour video and I think the other videos that came afterwards were like 15 minutes or so each. So I would urge you to watch and uh, get the ideas and start playing inside your wiki space. I think you're going to enjoy this a whole lot. One last thought. If you need to reach out, if you need to talk to me about anything that goes wrong, I don't understand, please do not hesitate. 502-457-2937 is my text number. Send me a text anytime, and I will probably respond very quickly. See you on Tuesday.